So our morning prayer service begins. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Sue, if you could lead us in the confession of sin, please. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Suzanne, I'm gonna call up today's psalm for you. If you would keep your mics muted, but join me in reading Psalm 149. Hallelujah, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praise in the congregation of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise to him with tremble and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and adorns the poor with victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them be joyful on their beds. Let the praises of God be there in, in their throat and a two-edged sword in their hand to wreak vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles with links of iron, to inflict on them the judgment decreed. This is glory for all his faithful people. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, love thy neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and lusciousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And Veronique, I believe we have a hymn today. Jesus. Fill us with your love, show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Kneel at the feet of his friends, silently washes their feet. Master who acts as a slave to them. Hey Sue, hey Sue. Fill us with your love, show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Neighbors are rich and poor, neighbors are black and white, neighbors are nearby and far away. 
These are the ones we should serve. These are the ones we should love. All the neighbors to us and you. Jesus, Jesus, fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Loving puts us on our knees, serving as though we were slaves. This is the way we should live with you. Jesus, Jesus, fill us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Thank you, Veronique, that was beautiful. Pastor Motor, if you could come off mute, I'm gonna call up the gospel. Pastor Motor, you've got to turn on your mic. Pass the motor. Okay. Sue, since Pass the motor is having difficulty with his mic, Sue, could you read the gospel? The gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, if another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of the two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where, there, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yes, Mother, over to you for the homily. We have some interesting insight on today's gospel reading. The gospel reading reminds us that in the church, or as God's people, often we fail to live in the presence of God. Sometimes in churches, I know I've been doing this for 50 some odd years, those craziest little things come up which make us unhappy with each other. We begin sometimes people of ostracizing people because they aren't looking at things the same way. And it goes on and on. And we have to figure, how are we going to ever do this? How is the church ever going to be one, one entity that does what it's supposed to do? And that is proclaim the love and forgiveness of God. And therein lies today's uh, gospel reading for today's gospel. Here we understand that when we are unhappy with what's going on with each other, that we ought not to simply let it go. We ought not to argue our way through. We ought to go back to the beginning, to the time we were baptized and Jesus called us by name and reminds us that we are not one better than the other, that every one of us has some skills and some things that others cannot take care on or take care of. And so we can go past our times of not agreeing with each other. We can go past looking at what God is doing for us. The real issue is not to drug, drive other people or to give them some sort of a rating as to what's good about what they think. Instead, instead what God gives us is the ability to live in forgiveness. And it's great when we can forgive each other, 
reconcile each other and come back to the place where God has originally left us. So I hope as we, you have wonderful gifts in your congregation, but there's always that something holding in the corner somewhere that likes to jumble things up. So remember, good friends, that Jesus says, if we want to be in unity with one another, we need to start with who we are. We need to start with the gift of forgiveness through the cross and resurrection. And when we do that, we are able to move forward and achieve things we never would have believed will happen. So I ask you to go forward in your mouths and lips forward in, in good days of words that keep us where we are. Remember each day to pray for your church, to know that God is there. Remember each day that God is providing before us forgiveness and love. And make that the center of what we are doing, because that's our job. And therefore, we are able to get new people to, with us, become, become the people who find love, even when we don't agree. I'd like to read to you the words of a poem that I found today, the other day, not yet today, by a poet called Marianne Williamson. And I think this says some good things, and if it helps you, that's great. Love is what we were born with. Fear is what we learn. The spiritual journey is the unleading of fear and the acceptance of love back into our hearts. So I would challenge you in places where the edges are a little bit rough, that you think some time and think for a while and pray. And pray that God would unchasten us, unlest us, that God would stand by us as we go forward together and find peace and joy in our lives and in the Lord. May God give us through the Spirit that holy thing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's take a moment to reflect on the words of today's gospel and on Pastor Moda's homily as well. Susan, if you could lead us in the Apostles' Creed, please. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Sue? Let us pray together. You stay on mute, please. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain.
collect for today. Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts, for as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so you never forsake those who make their boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Prayer today for mission. And as we do the prayer for mission today under the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. We pray for the Diocese of Wusara and Iglesia North, both in Nigeria. We pray for our Mother Church, St. James and St. James. We pray for our Big Sister Church, Caroline and Setauket. And we pray for the people uh, and ministers and volunteers and all that uh, uh, carry out the mission of all souls. <clears throat> Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit, now we all, we pray for the Church of the Nativity as well in Raleigh, North Carolina. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplication and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church. And in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Amen. Christ. Pray together for the sick and suffering. <laughs> And uh, Sue has the list that you had given her earlier. If there are other people that you want us to pray for, not on the list, just put them in chat. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants. Today, we pray for Betsy Palmetto, Jane and Jack Feigl, Lorraine Mignoni, Charlie Fenich, Frank Downs, Josephine Orlando, Father David Gable, Pastor Motor, Bonnie Cassidy, Richard C. Almash, Alan Potenza, Gladys Henderson, Anna Kerr Good, Jeff Kerr, Ellie, Marlis Meyer, Denali, Jim Dane, Sharon Rennie, Jill Algate, Delina Downs, Kathy Clark, Neil Boyle Sr., Vincent Andrea, Leah DeVilla's grandmother, cousin, and family, the Coverdale family, Grace Frazen, Frankie Cardamo, Marie Roman, Fred, Allison Welch, Anna Madison, Ted Esser, Daryl Blasberg, Michael and Jackie Shibisi. Jeff McLaughlin, Val and Nina Connolly, Bev Tyler, Bruce Lockerbie, Ashley Witt, April Kerr Valentine, Anthony Mignoni, Eva Saul, and Barbara and Tony Matassa. Are there others? Pray today for Brigadier General Robert Dennis Kerr. And give your power of healing to those that minister to their needs, that they may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray today for the departed. And again, if you have additional folks that are not already on the list, just put them in chat. O oh God, who by the glorious resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and death and brought life and immortality to light, grant that your servants. Today we pray for Michael Gatiss Sr., Erna Monez, Claire Nichols-White, Teresa Leibowitz, Jerry Devine, Judy Estes, Carol Richardson, D. Downs, John Fink, Sandy Redfield, Joe Pistel, Canon Ed Wispower, Father Jim Spada, Mother Ann Plummer, Patricia Latour, Connie Mignoni, Clara Potenza, Helen Murphy, Bill Hodson, Jean Roman, Val Edna Erasto Velasquez, Kelly Bogar, Herb Wilson, Richard J. Almash, Alita Hare, Barbara Dolinger, Dan Hennessy, Dorothy and John Donnelly, Ann Weber, William and Fran Warren, Max Wheat, Barbara Hoffman, Dwight Powers, Karen Robles' daughter, Rebecca Colony, and Dennis Madison. Pray also for uh, Reverend Joseph Grunder. Being raised with him may know the strength of his presence and rejoice in his eternal glory, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. We pray today during this week of Pentecost for the uh, gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. We have two special prayers for today. 
First, we have a prayer on this Labor Day weekend, a prayer for cities everywhere throughout the United States. This is taken from the Book of Common Prayer. If you look in the back of the Book of Common Prayer, there's prayers for just about everything. So a prayer for the cities of the United States. Heavenly Father, in your word, you gave vision, gave us a vision of the holy city to which the nations of the world bring their glory. Behold and visit, we pray, the cities of the United States. Renew the ties of mutual regard which form our civic life. Send us honest and able leaders. Enable us to eliminate poverty, prejudice, depression, that peace may prevail with righteousness and justice with order, and that men and women from different cultures with differing talents may find with one another the fulfillment of their humanity through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Special prayer for the pandemic. Things are lightening up a bit in New York, but the pandemic is still plaguing our land. And this is taken from St. Stephen's Episcopal School in Austin, Texas. Dear Lord, may we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors remember those most vulnerable. May we who have the luxury of working from home remember those who must choose between preserving their health or making their rent. May we who have the flexibility to care for our children when their schools close remember those who have no options. May we who have to cancel our trips remember those who have no safe place to go. May we who settle in for a quarantine at home remember those who have no home. As fear grips our country, let us choose love. During this time when we cannot physically wrap our arms around each other, let us find ways to be, to, to be the loving embrace of God to our neighbors. Amen. Before we um, say the general Thanksgiving, Sue, are there special things that we're grateful for today? Yes, today we pray in thanks for all healthcare workers, police, firemen, and first responders, all truckers and delivery people that keep our country going. We pray for this great country and for all laborers on this Labor Day holiday. We pray for our health and the health of our family. We pray in thanks for all the engineers and scientists who made this technology to keep in touch with each other possible. We pray in thanks for our poets, musicians, and church volunteers. We pray in thanks for uh, Renee Durrett's birthday and for the wedding anniversary of Steve and Suzanne Velasquez. We pray in thanks for all our personal blessings and all our prayers answered. We also pray in thanksgiving for our neighbor, Alex, who continues to mow the lawn every two weeks at the rectory. It's great help this morning. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Welcome, Renee. Glad that you were able to join us. Prayer for St. Christendom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pastor Motor, if I could call upon you for a final blessing, please. Pastor Motor, you have to turn on your mic. Unmute. 
Is that better now? Yes, you are with us. Yep. The blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be and abide with us now and forever. Amen. 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 This concludes the service. Thank you for joining us. And there are going to be a few announcements as well. Let me just stop recording.